Hey, I'm Eddie Hyatt. Welcome to the Awakening Podcast. This week, our theme is Resurrection Power for You. You know, this coming Sunday is Resurrection Sunday. And so all of this week, we're going to be talking about and emphasizing resurrection power that has been made available for you because the resurrection, yes, the most significant, momentous event in human history, the greatest demonstration of power the universe has ever known. And the Bible tells us that that same power has been released and unleashed toward us who believe. The same power that raised Jesus from the dead is available to you today. Think about this question. If you had at your disposal a power that would guarantee your victory over every temptation, trial, and difficulty you would ever face, wouldn't you want to know about that? Hey, that's what we're going to be talking about this week. Resurrection power for you. And you know, when Jesus Christ came out of that tomb, if the cross of Christ is the greatest demonstration of God's love that has ever been displayed, then the resurrection is the greatest display of His power that has ever been displayed. And it was the ultimate triumph when Jesus came out of the tomb because you see, death is the ultimate triumph enemy of mankind. When Jesus defeated death, he defeated the ultimate enemy, not just for himself, but for all of us. He didn't do this for himself. Jesus existed as God through all eternity. He did not have to come down to earth, take on human form for himself, suffer and die. No, he didn't do that for himself. He did it all for you and me. And we are able to appropriate the benefits of His death and resurrection when we put our faith in Him. You know, when I was born many years ago, 74 years ago in Memphis, Texas, I was born into the Hyatt family. And by simply by being a part of that family, there were certain privileges and blessings that were mine just because I was a part of the family. And when I was born again, when you were born again into the family of God, there were blessings and benefits that were yours simply because you were now part of the family. And, and, and one of those benefits and blessings is knowing and experiencing the power of his resurrection. Paul, the great apostle, in his letter to the Philippians, chapter 4, verse 10, he said that his burning passion and desire for which he had left everything else, he said, is to know him, talking about Jesus Christ, to know him and the power of his resurrection. The amplified version says, to know him and the power that is flowing out from his resurrection. You see, his, that resurrection power is still available to all who will put their faith in Jesus. And Jesus' resurrection, it was more than just, you know, him coming back to life after being dead. You see, that was his redemptive work. Uh, Satan was defeated. Atonement for sin was provided. Sin was defeated. Satan was defeated. And Jesus walked out of the tomb, a mighty conqueror. And he declared when he came out of the tomb, Matthew 28, 19, he said, all authority is given to me in heaven and in earth. You know, I've had to face death many times. I have preached numerous funerals. I have preached funerals of my own family members, preached the funerals of my mother, my father, two brothers, I, I preached the funerals of my mother-in-law, my father-in-law, Sue's parents, and, and one of her brothers. And I want to tell you in every situation, and I know it's by the Holy Spirit, because you see the Holy Spirit has come to make Jesus known and real to us. In every situation, 
there was more than a mere comfort. There was a sense of triumph, of victory. And I'll never forget preaching my oldest brother's funeral. I was 32 years old and he was killed in a tragic accident at the age of 41, left behind a wife and, and, and three small girls. And I remember preaching his funeral and how I had such a sense of the triumph of the resurrection and the passage of scripture that was so consuming my mind and heart was from the Psalms. And it was actually put in, into the words of a song back in the 1970s or 80s by Maranatha Singers. Hallelujah! For the Lord our God, the Almighty reigns. <laughs> yes, you see, death was the ultimate enemy of mankind. Sin and death. Death came into the world as a result of sin. The ultimate enemy of mankind. But in His death and resurrection, our Lord Jesus Christ defeated both sin and death and came forth a mighty conqueror. Let me just read the words of Jesus to one of His closest disciples and maybe His closest disciples. Uh, John the Apostle who wrote the Gospel of John, wrote 1 John, 2 John, and 3 John and also wrote the book of Revelation. And John in his latter years, he lived longer than any of the other 12. And he had been banished to an island out in the Mediterranean where they sent convicts and criminals, uh, sort of like an, it was the Roman Alcatraz. And he had been banished to this island because of his faith in Jesus. But while he was there, he had this incredible visitation and vision of the Lord. And here's how he described it. He said, I was in the Spirit on the Lord's day and I heard a trumpet. I heard behind me a loud voice as of a trumpet saying, I am the Alpha and the Omega. Those are the first and last letters of the alphabet. I am the Alpha and Omega, the first and the last. And what you see, write in a book and send it to the seven churches of, of, of Asia. And John says, Then I turned to see the voice that spoke to me. And having turned, I saw seven golden lampstands. And in the midst of the seven lampstands, one like the Son of Man, clothed with a garment down to his feet, and girded about the chest with a golden band. His he head and hair were white like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes like a flame of fire. His feet were like fine brass, as if refined in a furnace, and his voice as the sound of many waters. He had in, had in his right hand seven stars out of his he had in his right hand seven stars out of his mouth went a sharp two-edged sword and his countenance was like the shot, sun shining in its strength and when I saw him I fell at his feet as dead this was John the beloved disciple who was very close to the Lord Jesus Christ it was John at the last supper when Jesus said, one of you will betray me. And they were all wondering, is it I? Who could it be? How could this happen? And Peter whispered to John, who was sitting next to Jesus, and asked him to ask Jesus who it was. And so the Bible says that, that John leaned over on his breast and asked Jesus, which one is it? And Jesus said, I'm going to sop a piece of bread. And the one that I give it to is the one who is going to betray me. Uh, John is called the beloved disciple. He had this close friendship, relationship with Jesus. And, but here when he sees Jesus in his resurrected glory and power, it is overwhelming. And he says, I fell at his feet as one dead. And Jesus laid his right hand on him and he said to John, I am he who lives and was dead. And behold, I am alive forevermore. Amen. And I have the keys of hell and of death, of Hades and of death. Wow, what a triumphant Savior we serve. What a triumphant Lord we serve. And I can tell you, in facing death, preaching numerous funerals, my own family members, in every situation I have had that inner sense of absolute and ultimate triumph. Have you put your faith in Jesus Christ? 
Only through Jesus Christ can you experience the ultimate triumph that He has provided for humanity, and it comes through faith in Jesus Christ. I'm Eddie Hyatt. Our theme this week is Resurrection Power for You. I will see you tomorrow for another episode of Awakening. God bless you.